I hope you all are fit and fine. So students, let's start with today's topic. Student, as we have already completed a chapter first and second in science. Now today we are going to discussing the chapter third that is the fiber to fabric. So let's start with new enthusiasm and freshness the new chapter that is fiber to fabric. So uh, this chapter you have already discussed in your class 6. So first of all I would like to ask you what do you mean by the fiber? How you can define the fiber? So the fiber you can define it a material which is available in the form of thin and continuous strand is called fiber. The thin and continuous strands are the fiber. They are the very much thin. So, you can define the fiber into the two categories. Next thing is types. Types of fiber. Generally, the fibers are of two types. First one is natural fiber. And the second one is synthetic fiber. Synthetic fiber. Uh, synthetic fiber is also known as man-made fiber. These are two types of fibers. Natural and Synthetic. So students, natural fibers are those fibers which we get from nature. They are naturally occurred. So the sources of the natural fibers are plants and the second one is animals. Those fibers which we get from plants and animals are come under the category of natural fibers. For example, cotton, we get cotton from the cotton plant, jute and wool, silk. These are some examples of natural fibers and the synthetic fibers are also known as man-made fibers. Actually, they are synthesized in the laboratory by human beings. That's why they are known as man-made fiber. So, the examples of man-made fibers are nylon, polyester, okay, and Acrylic is also come under this category. So, these are two types of fibers, natural one and the synthetic one. So, students, first we discuss about the animal fiber. We obtain common animal fibers are wool and silk. Wool is obtained from the different animals, for example, the sheep. This is the picture of the sheep, and the another is goat. We obtain wool from the goat, and the another example is yak. This is the uh, picture of the yak, and another is camel. From these animals, we get the wool, and this is the picture of the silkworm from which we get the natural silk. Silk fibers come from cocoon of the silk moth. Now we will discuss it later. First of all we will uh, discuss the wool. So we obtain wool from the 
फ्लीस यू कैन से हेयर ऑफ डिफरेंट एनिमल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल शिप गोट कैमल याक रेबिट एक्सेट्रा एंड देर आर सम अदर एनिमल्स ऑल्सो फ्रॉम विच वी गेट दी वूल दीज एनिमल्स हैव अ थिक कोट ऑफ हेयर ऑन देयर बॉडीज बिकॉज द हेयर ट्रैप्स एयर एंड एयर इज अ पुअर कंडक्टर ऑफ हीट सो थिक लेयर ऑफ हेयर कीप्स देयर बॉडी वॉम एंड प्रोटेक्ट दैम फ्रॉम हर्श कोल्ड फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग वूल एनिमल्स आर रेयर एंड देन देयर हेयर इज कट एंड प्रोसीड इन टू दी वूल नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज फ्लीस एंड वूल बेयरिंग एनिमल्स सो फ्रॉम हेयर यू अंडरस्टैंड देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ हेयर इन दी वूल बेयरिंग एनिमल्स वट आर दी टू टाइप्स द फर्स्ट वन इज कोर्स हेयर एंड द सेकेंड वन इज फाइन सॉफ्ट अंडर हेयर फाइन सॉफ्ट हेयर is found close to the skin in such animals the fine soft under hair of animals like sheep goat etc is called the fleece it means the fine hairs of these animals are the actual fleece which we need for making the wool so the animals having fine soft hair that you can say fleece on their body are called wool bearing animals now animal wool there are many breeds of animals from which we get the wool the many breeds of sheep are found in india sheep gives us milk and meat also in addition to wool but are reared mainly to obtain wool in different parts of the world sheep wool is most common wool angura wool is obtained from angura goats of jammu kashmir is soft wool used for making shawls generally the shawls are made by the angura wool it is thought that the angura wool is the best wool so the angura goats are found in hilly regions such as jammu and kashmir yak wool is obtained commonly in tibet and ladakh camel hair is also used as wool so students next topic is rearing and breeding of sheep we are going to take this topic with the help of a video please watch the video carefully and understand how rearing and breeding of sheep takes place rearing of sheep for obtaining wool meat milk skin and manure is called sheep farming or sheep rearing the people who rear the sheep is known as shepherd The body of sheep covers with hairs known as fleece or fur. We obtain wool from fleece. Sheep are herbivores; they feed on grasses. Shepherds bring the dam for grazing. They also feed upon the mixture of pulses, jowar, oil cakes, and minerals. When winters start, the shepherds keep the sheep in a shelter. here they give them leaves grains and dry fodder to eat now the advantages of sheep rearing the sheep are very strong animals they can live in severe environment so they need only a little care and management in addition they need little space for living they provide various product and provide very good income also they help the farmers by eating unwanted plant in farm here are some breeds along with the quality and states where they are found next 
if you selecting the parents having special characteristics then it is possible to produce the offspring of the same characteristic and it is known as selective breeding with the help of selective breeding it is possible to produce the sheep which produce good quality of wool sheep rearing required a facilities such as a plenty of clean and fresh water they uh, graze on grasses so green grasses are required medication facility transportation and marketing facilities are also required in india sheep rearing takes place in hilly areas such as jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttaranchal sikkim and arunachal pradesh and also some in plain areas that is haryana punjab rajasthan gujarat now i hope you all have understand this video next topic is processing of wool there are different methods of processing the wool let's take one by one and these are as follows so the processing of changing fleece that you can say fur into wool involves following six steps first is shearing second is scouring third is sorting fourth bird separation fifth is dyeing and the sixth one and last is the spinning now the first process is shearing the fleece of the sheep along with a thin layer of skin is removed from its body this process is called shearing machines similar to those used by barbers are used to shave off hair usually hair are removed during the hot weather now students with the help of this video please watch how the process of shearing takes place in ship shearing does not hurt the ship just as it does not hurt when you get a hair cut of your saves this shearing is uh, takes place by the machines similar to those used by barbers to shave off hairs so this man is going to remove the hair of this ship like this the shear process of shearing takes place this is very much similar to the trimmer which is generally used by the barbers so students watch how the shearing is takes place this is the method through which the fleece or you can say the fur are removed from the body of the ship as i told you earlier this happens in the summer season generally in hot so students through this video i hope you understand how the process of shearing takes place in this way the all hairs of the ship are removed and they are collected for making a wool now the second step is scouring the shared skin with hair is washed in tanks to remove grease dust and dirt the process of washing the sheared wool in hot water followed it by drying is called scouring nowadays the scouring is done by machines you can see in this video now 
after scoring the sorting is done in sorting the hairy skin is sent to a factory where hair of different textures are separated or sorted this is done in the process of sorting with the help of these images you can see the process of sorting of wool in this process the wools are separated according to the different textures there are different images you can see how the wools or the different types of textures are separated in this way in the industry the process of sorting takes place so this is all about the sorting now the fourth step is burse separation in this step the small fluffy fibers called burse are separated from the hairs and again washed and dried these are the same burrs which sometimes appears on your sweaters now the fifth step is dyeing in this the natural hair of sheep is white brown or black the raw fibers are dyed in different colors for getting the different types of color the hairs are dyed with the help of different colors now the last step is spining in this the fibers are straightened combed and rolled into yarn now the yarn is formed after a long process so they are the spun and woven into fabrics so the longer fibers are made into wool for sweaters and the shorter fibers are spun and woven into woolen clothes so this is the last step of the processing fibers into the wool that is the spinning this is all about the processing of wool so students in today's video we have discussed about the processing of wool there are different methods of processing of wool i repeat it again that is first one is the shearing second scouring third shorting fourth burr separation fifth dyeing and the last one is the spining i try explaining these methods with the help of videos i hope you all have enjoyed this and hope so you are able to understand the different methods with the help of video still students if you are facing any difficulty you can ask me without any hesitation okay so students i hope you understand today's topic very well please go through the video carefully and for any doubt please without any hesitation you can ask me okay so stay at home and be safe goodbye have a nice day thank you very much